Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and today I have a sort of organizational video for you all. I think I mentioned that I wanted to film something like this a while back. I do have one video sort of like this uh, about smaller vacations, but today we're talking about organizing trip photos and memorabilia. And I've come across a new way to do it that I think is a lot easier for me, but I also have my old way here to show you guys what I did before. So let's get started with my old way. So this is my Disney album here opened up. You might be able to tell uh, from some of the embellishments, but this is my Disney album. And if you haven't been watching my Designing Disney series, which I'll have linked down below, uh, I'm working on the cruise section of my album right now. So as you can tell, there's product in these page protectors as well as photos. Uh, but I also have the completed ones in here as well. So we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But I was struggling with having my photos in my old um, organization method here which was a simple um, file holder and then file folder. So each of the file folders corresponds with a date of the trip. Um, and inside there is the memorabilia from that day and the photos, ideally in order from that day. So that's all that was in here. Um, some of them were more packed than others with memorabilia and receipts and stuff, but that's essentially what went in here. Um, I liked it for a little while. Uh, I actually never labeled all of the edges. This one says veggies because they're just reused uh, file folders. But I have all the days in here, including all the memorabilia. So here's another map and there's buttons and receipts um, just so it was all together because that's another issue that I have is if I don't have the memorabilia with the photos, the memorabilia never ends up in the scrapbook. So if you have that similar problem, today we're gonna kind of tackle that. Um, so I'm going to keep some of my photos like this mainly because I'm not ready to do the next step yet. So I would say this is the first step. Gather all of your day's items in a file folder or one of those iris containers or one of these photo boxes will work. Um, just gather your photos into something for each day and then put your memorabilia with it. Um, that will help a lot. And I like the file folder concept mainly because we have larger photos as well from the cruise line. Um, I actually have some of them already out, but we got larger photos in these file folders that didn't really fit in any photo boxes that I had. So I thought file folders will fit all the photos we have and they'll all be in one place, which is ideally what you want. If all the project items are in one place, you're more likely to be able to work on the project and be motivated to finish the project. So this morning I decided to start taking out parts of the original system. So I took out my cruise days that are left. Um, the next part of the cruise is the dress up night. So that's what I have ready in these albums. So essentially I took the photos out, paired them together with what I want on each page. So you'll see this one has three photos in there. Um, this next one has it in a pocket page. So they're in there ready to go. Also, sorry for the glare. I know there's a little bit of it from the lights, but we're just gonna have to deal with that. Um, I even have notes if I wanna print something larger. So this one says print eight by 10 of Mickey family photo. Um, Cause Mickey's on this next page over here and so forth. And then there's just extra page protectors on this side so I can keep doing this with the rest of my days. So again, I also have notes about titles, about uh, different materials I wanna use with them. So this one already has a piece in there, a little wood veneer piece that's ready to go. This one has stickers in there ready to go. So that way when I flip through this album, I don't have to work in order anymore. Really, I just don't have to. Um, they're already in order so I could work on this pocket page but I wouldn't have to do the back page first. It's fine if I do this page first. Do you guys know what I'm saying? I think that makes sense. Um, so this morning I took all of my cruise ones that are left out of the file folder because there's a lot of memorabilia in there that was bulking it up, uh, specifically from the next day that's in this section. So what I'm going to do is show you guys a little bit of what I do. Um, so like we have giant metals that we wanna put in. Um, so I have to figure out somehow how to use these. And then I have tissue papers and I have plastic wraps and our um, ID lanyards and our bibs and our pins. So there's a lot going into this next section. Um, and I would recommend not exactly doing this embellishment thing um, for all of your sections, mainly because it gets very bulky. So I did it for the next couple, mainly because I'll get through them faster. I know I'll do a couple pages when I sit down to do my Disney album next. So having those prepared is a grand idea. It'll save you time and set you up for success to finish those pages quicker. I'd also recommend including paper. I'm gonna do that probably after this video, try to find some papers for my Rapunzel page and my Chippendale page. Um, and the more embellishments you put in each section, the more likely they are to fall out. 
but I'm just gonna put that one back in. Um, you could also do this not inside of a scrapbook album. So if you don't have an album dedicated to this yet, you could do my plastic bag method, which I've mentioned a couple times in other videos where you get those jumbo Ziploc bags that are over 12 by 12 and just do a page kit for each page. So they're just in order um, and they can put them back in that sleeve once they're done. So something like that too would work if you don't have extra albums about, because I know a lot of people don't have their albums when they start their scrapbook for their vacations. So I have notes in here and I have the pages ready. So next up is the next day, which is Castaway Key um, for our cruise itinerary. So I don't think these photos are in order. Yeah, majority of these photos are not in order. Um, and this one's a little more unique as well because we have underwater photos to go through. So we got uh, underwater photos taken with our uh, disposable camera. We got an underwater disposable camera, which is a great tip if you're going on a Disney cruise. Now, I believe most of these will probably just go behind another photo. Like, I like this photo. Sorry about the reflection from this causing the camera to go in and out of focus, but I like this photo, but I don't like, like, these photos are just sand. Um, so they'll probably just get tucked behind in a different section. Um, like, there's a stingray. And these weren't developed great. Like I said, it's just a disposable camera. You don't really know what you're doing until after the fact, but I'll have to go through those and make some pocket pages with those. But that's another thing to remember. If you have photos in other places, like on your siblings' phones or on your grandparents' phones or your spouse's phone or your kids' phones, make sure you get those all into one spot. Hence why I like the file folder method for getting everything in one spot. Because if you both took pictures when you were with Pluto, they might be, one might be better than the other one. So you might want to really just go through all of them. I know it's really annoying because this is one of the most annoying parts about scrapbooking is organizing photos and getting photos ready. Um, I also have photos that I don't know when they were taken. We cannot remember for the life of us which day we took these photos with the princesses. Um, but they're probably just going to go on this section. Um, I do have some photos in here that don't really have a particular section, like my towel animal page. Um, so they created towel animals for us on our uh, beds every night. So I just put that on this section. I thought it was cute, might as well. So that's just one thing I threw in somewhere that I didn't have to. So what I think I'm gonna do is first make a title page. So I'm gonna grab my post-it note and my pencil and make sure I write title page. So this is gonna be a castaway key title page. This is just a really great planning step, guys. It'll save you a lot of time in the long run when you're trying to do these pages. Um, I'd also like to apologize for all the hair that seems to be in here. It's like my cats uh, attacked my albums when I wasn't looking. So we have that one done so we can continue. And then I have a bazillion photos of the island itself, which I think these are, I don't think the title page will have photos on it, but if I were to include photos on it, it'd be these photos. So you know, I think I'm going to throw these in on the title page because it really gives the essence of the island without too much going on there. So those ones are done. So we did do the Castaway Key 5K. Um, that was still running when we were there. I also have memorabilia I need to include before I forget, which is the itinerary for this day. So every day on the Disney cruise you get an itinerary, just like most other cruises. So I want to definitely include this, um, usually on its own page. That way it can be taken in and out pretty easily. Like I don't glue this down, I just put it in 8.5 by 11. For now, I think it's just going, you know, I should make the title page an 8.5 by 11. So that way this can go on the back of it and be 8.5 by 11. Doesn't that sound like a great idea? I think we're going to do that. So I'm going to write on my post-it note as well that this will be an 8.5 by 11 layout. So again, making sure I write note of that. Because I don't want to forget it in the long run. Okay, so then we have the navigator which describes what you're doing every day or during the uh, different hours of the day. Um, most of these are after we swam, so I just wanna keep going. Like I said, you should put your photos in order, but you know, sometimes that doesn't really happen, <laughs> which is one of those days. I didn't really know they were out of order before I started, but here we are. So here's one from the 5K, that's good. I want that in there. That one probably too. Um, this was before we got off the boat, actually. So all of these two were off before we got off the boat. So these are just a little bit out of order. 
and a lot of these are after we swam because I can tell because of my hair. These were after the 5K was over. That's when we went swimming. Swimming, 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 swimming. Okay, so I think we have a start here. And of course, luckily page protectors are quite easy to move around. So we have the view from the ship, which I think could go right next to the itinerary. I don't think that's not a bad, that's not a bad sequence there. Again, might be 12 by 12, might not be. I'm just putting them in these page protectors for now. If I know it's gonna be a pocket page, I will put it in a pocket page style. So really just depends on how you work. I think these ones will end up be, being 12 by 12. Next, I wanna include, this is gonna be like a double page layout, I believe. I think I have one more photo of the 5K while we're in it. We also have a large photo of it. And I think I have a couple that I'm, oh, an island map. That would be great on the title page. So let me go back and add this in. If this does become an eight and a half by 11 layout, um, one of these photos probably has to go. I think those two look great. And then I'll put this one somewhere else because we have some photos in front of the ship over on this side. So I think I'll move that to that section because I don't want to overwhelm an eight and a half by 11 layout. And like I said, I definitely have another 5K photo somewhere. I don't know where that's from. We have Olaf. These are wet hair that's back on the ship, Pirate Night. There's definitely another 5K photo somewhere, guys. I swear, I swear. You know, if I can't find it now, I can make note of it and then I can just put it in later. Um, I have a feeling I moved it back into here um, by accident with the other photos. Okay, now they're not in there either. I don't know where I put them. That's okay. I am going to tuck this in as well because this is a large photo from the run. So we'll have a large photo of it. And I can always change this around because it is a double page layout, luckily. Um, then we have our medals. I don't know if I'm gonna put two in there, maybe just one. But again, these will not be Oh, you know what? These could be in a little pocket page by themselves, like a little insert here. So maybe I'll try to find one of those. So I keep all of my extra page protectors in one scrapbook. So they're all right here. I have uh, smaller inserts on the front, although I think I want a six by eight insert. So I'm gonna have to go to my six by eight page protectors to get those out. But that's okay, we can do that. So I think there's gonna be a six by eight pocket page in here um, if I can find the right protector. I think six by eight might work best, but I also think if they're in the same pocket that they'll kind of pop out. So maybe, let's see, what's on this page? So I could make this a pocket page so these can fit in more easily because there's just two photos on this side and two photos on this side. So if I go to my pocket page section right here, it looks like we have a lot of choices. So they're horizontal photos. So I think there's a square um, version. I think this one. I think this is the one I want. And again, there's probably gonna be a lot of glare from these page protectors. So this is by, I'm mm, not sure what brand this is, uh, but it has three four by four and then two four by sixes on the top and bottom. So we're gonna try this one out. There's no brand on this page protector, which I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that before. Usually Echo Park and We Are Memory Keepers and Becky Higgins puts them on. So that's a little odd that they don't have one. Um, and I did just drop some photos, so that's a little annoying, but that's okay. So like I said, I'm gonna switch this out for a pocket page. So I'm just gonna put the pocket page in and then leave the 12 by 12s in there for other projects. So if I take these and put them on there, Side. So this one will be a pocket page of before we got off the ship. So the views from the ship. I'm just gonna put these in here, like so. And then these two are the 5K photos. So we're on our way to the 5K and being in the 5K. Which if you guys are, are going to go on a Disney cruise, that's something they do offer on most itineraries is a Casper Key 5K. Um, which you can run or walk and everyone gets a medal. So like pretty dang cool. So I'm thinking this can go in one of these. I think it'll have to span two pockets to be honest. Guys, it doesn't even fit. This was very poor planning on my part. So what I could do is put it in one of these. 
and then kind of attach this to the outside of the page protector. Because if I tuck this in, it'd be way too bulky. Um, but something like running this across so it reads Castaway Key 5K, which seems to only be on the one side. So I think I'll probably switch it so it reads like this and adhere it to like the outside of these pockets like that which I know it's off screen because my desk only goes so far but um, it's gonna go across those pockets so I'm gonna switch this photo to oh wait this was before we got off the ship so it's technically gonna go on this side but I could push it into this pocket a four by six pocket and then put this adhere it like this does that seem like a good idea and then I can put the other one in this pocket page on this side. So I think that's the only way it's really going to work out well um, without being way too bulky. Because if I put them on different pages themselves. So I'm just going to tuck this one in. And when you're working with rubber like this, you have to be careful because it will react with certain adhesives. Um, so I probably will just not glue it on at all. Maybe the ribbon I'll try to adhere on. But for the most part, I'm not going to try to glue that. So I'm just going to move this photo of the lining up for the 5K. You know, I think I'm going to put it in the top pocket um, so that way you can kind of get the scene of events here. So the perks of doing the 5K, in case you guys are wondering, is you get on the island first. Um, it's pretty nifty to be on the island when it's empty. You get to see it completely empty, um, which is interesting. So another thing I realize is that that's not going to work still because it's on the opposite side. Well, I'll figure that out when it comes to it, uh, but for now it's just going to be tucked into here. So there's that section tucked in. I could even just take this out and then just leave myself a note, which is probably what I'm going to do because it's going to be harder to turn the pages for this video, uh, and that's going to be a little bit annoying. So there's my sticky note. Okay, so now we can keep going. We have a 12 by 12 over here, and then I'd go back into my photos and pick out something else. So after the 5K, we did relax on the beach. This is before we swam because my hair is not wet. This is right before we swam because my hair is not wet, but I'm in a swimsuit. Um, there's that random view of a photo. This is after we swam, after we swam, after, after, after. He's wearing dry clothes, so that must mean... Okay, wait. So this is Stingray Adventure. So this is right after we swam with the stingrays, which was amazing, guys. Um, so I'm gonna put those ones elsewhere. Working on top of a slippery surface is not the best idea, but that's okay. There's just another view of the island, and then there's Olaf, which was after we got changed again. So a different pile. Um, this is when we were headed back to the boat, and then we met characters, so pretty much have it nailed down. We did take more photos at the stingray counter, these ones. Oh, this was also before we got off the boat this that morning. But I also really don't like this photo, so we'll see where that one goes. And then these are after we swam. So in this pile. These all will go on the same uh, layout, but they will go in the same area. That's another Olaf. Um, this is exploring the water. This is when we met Stitch. The stitch was super cute in his Hawaiian garb. Oops. There's more of when we're in front of the boat. There's Stitch, and then we met Captain Smee as well. Then we met Peter Pan, Minnie. And then these are all characters, so I'll just put those all together. Another Towel Monkey, the Aqua Duck, and then the Pirates Deck Party. So essentially, I'm going to take all these little piles and figure out what type of layout I want them to go on. I know this looks very overwhelming, but I know what's going on. Okay, guys, I know what. Uh, so I'm going to look through these, make sure I don't have any ephemera that I want on those pages, like my lanyards or my plastic uh, DCL logo stuff. Um, so I'm just going to go through, find what they look great in, like a pocket page or an insert, and figure out which story I want to tell, which also goes on my sticky notes. Sticky notes are amazing uh, because they just stay right where you want them to in your albums and are great for notes. But I'm going to take each of these little piles, put them in an order that I think goes well with the stories that I'm telling, and then find which page protector they fit well in, and then put them in, and then they'll all be in order. So when I come back to this album, I could just take out a page protector, work on that project, and then put it back in when it's done. So ideally, that's what happens. 
um, with this new organization method that I'm doing. Um, we'll see how it works out. You guys will see my designing Disney videos if I'm still using that method or not, or if I'm just kind of winging it, but hopefully it all works out. And that's it I have for this video. Let me know how you guys store your photos for your vacations. Um, I've seen this sort of idea. Um, I think it's Maggie does it. Crafty Maggie does it. Um, Scrap with Leah used to do it. She doesn't do YouTube anymore, but uh, when she did it, she talked about putting them in the page protectors before you started the album, and it was a great idea, and I'm finally I'm starting to do it, sort of. Uh, so there's lots of ladies that do it as well if you need more inspiration. Um, but I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, and there'll be more Designing Disney videos coming soon. Hopefully I can get this album done before... Well, not before the end of this year, because I haven't even started the park section, and I have so many more days of the cruise left so probably not the end of this year but hopefully by the end uh, or the middle of next year that'll be all done but I'm really excited to work on it because of this easier method setting yourself up for success is one of the main keys for crafting well having your things where you need them knowing where your things are and being kind of organized about it really helps I know this doesn't look organized but it kind of is okay but again I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye